We've gotten the biggest news yet for Star Citizen with the roadmap roundup of May 15th, noting Star Citizen Alpha 4.0 being in the roadmap for the very first time. Very exciting stuff, and it's a lot, guys. It's a lot. All right, so we're just quickly going to go through the um, just a high level of what we're going to see with the release view and then we're going to go over to the actual release view itself and actually view some of the features that we're going to see okay so um it says here um server server meshing version one it says the initial implementation first and foremost it says here for release view this in this week's roadmap update we're excited to announce the addition of alpha 4.0 to release view targeting q3 of this year below you'll find the initial set of features and content planned for this release with more to come in the lead up to launch exciting stuff all right so the very first one is going to be server mesh v2 which is going to be essential for the build it says the initial implementation of server meshing enables multiple servers per shard to improve load distribution and facilitate navigation between two star systems exciting exciting stuff right so it says mission system refactor says we work in the underlying mission system to become compatible with server meshing allowing for easier creation and maintenance of mission content okay yeah that's essential transit system refactor we work in the transit system to use trams and elevators uh, to be compatible with server meshing so everything that they are uh implementing has to be able to be compatible with server meshing and i think that's why it's been a little bit uh slow for us to see server meshing but we're, we're here we're finally here the very next major patch is going to be 4.0 and it's going to have pyro in it so it also says the different planets that we're going to see we're going to see pyro one two uh three uh four five six and uh some moons i think moon some moons that's around uh pyro six i think it's uh uh ignis uh, uh vatra idur pharaoh fugo vor all right and then it says oh pyro space stations as well it says added rundown rest stop stations to the pyro system which provides basic services such as repair sustenance and commerce Excited. So some of the space stations that we did see, I think we'll, we will see more because uh, with this release, we're going to see the entire uh, pyro system as we were only allowed to see the very first three uh, planets um, within the pyro star system when we did the uh, tech preview. So uh, this is, they're going to release the entire thing. So um, so it says here, Outpost Colonialism it says a small home of AI to live and to live and shelter. They consist of a contrast hub and a few of a few optional internal and external modules. These provide basic necessities to support a small group of people for an indefinite amount of time. So these are uh, different outposts we're going to be seeing between Pyro and I think Stanton, maybe. Um, all right. So the next major one is going to be jump points. Um, it says implementing the first jump point into persistent universe connecting the Stanton and Pyro system together, including this necessary vehicle items and functionality and jump point uh, themselves and their inner tunnels. So that means all ships are going to have, um, at least all ships that are gonna be capable is going to have jump drives. And I'm sure there's gonna be different variants of jump drives at different classes. And um, I'm sure they're all gonna have their own advantages and disadvantages um so that's going to be exciting stuff i'm going to be really excited to to finally jump through and, and go over to pyro and be able to come back it's going to be really exciting stuff so it says solar bursts it says solar bursts are dangerous natural disasters that happen regularly around older stars like pyro in this instance the sun erupts with a high energy particle wave generating from its surface traveling at 15 percent speed of light uh, through the entire star system the dangerous high energy particle wave can be avoided by hiding 
behind other objects that are big enough damn that's yeah so i did experience that when we did the pyro attack preview it was really cool really cool effect and um, it's just another another level of danger because if you're in atmosphere and this ha this hits you it's going to shut down your ship and that's going to be pretty dangerous so make sure you're either in space or uh, you're actually on ground when this actually hits your planet or wherever you are all right so it says life support it says implementing the first iteration of onboard life support system in ships which entails a ship component that generates breathable gas when turned on and components of said life components uh, life support components within the vehicle loadout manager so now we're going to be managing life support systems so that comes with engineering of course it's going to be very exciting because we're going to have so much to do in our ships so much to do outside of our ships and so much to do to maintain our ships it's going to be really cool uh, it's at star citizen is going to be a game that you're going to live in instead of just grinding for money right it's just going to be also uh looking to find ways to survive you know traverse and survive and it's, it's really exciting stuff really exciting stuff next it says engineering it says allow players to manage and maintain and repair various ship systems players can assume different roles that each provide a unique gameplay loop with engineering gameplay and players have to contend with item degradation malfunctions and power management i'm excited for this um engineering overall hopefully it's a good experience and it's a good balance that it's not too tedious i just uh, hope that they do find a balance because um big ships man it's going to be challenging for one person to manage but uh i'm excited to do it with crew but uh, the smaller ships i hope it's a lot more manageable for solo uh players as well so i hope they do find a uh, a balance there it says charge and drain it says adding the ability for players to drain store and charge objects with power using the multi tool in includes the ability to overcharge objects and also remove distortion damage interesting so a lot of maintenance here exciting stuff exciting stuff uh multi tool updates it says Raising the multi-tool up to the standard from Squadron 42 with additional functionality like cutting for specific scenarios, repair, updates like improved handling, integrated UI, and use of batteries operated. Yes, I've been looking for, for, forward to this because I know they wanted to implement batteries. So it looks like we're going to be seeing batteries in 4.0. Fire hazards, also implementing fire hazard system which tracks fire and temperatures on static and dynamic objects for the initial release fire will be set up fire will be set up on a select few vehicles interesting this is going to be one of the most exciting things especially during ship combat and the fire breaks out so your crew is not only maintaining all the items on your ship but you're going to have to have to fight fires mid combat <laughs> that's gonna be exciting man it's gonna be really exciting before we continue guys let me let you guys know that i'm doing a giveaway for a Morai pulse and in order to participate all you gotta do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video from now till the end of june you have to do both subscribe and leave a comment in any video from now till the end of june the goal is hitting thousand subscribers let's go all right, so to continue on, um, MFD rework and new displays. It says rebuilding ship multi-function displays and building blocks, including new design, functionality, customization options. This update also includes a select number of updates, ship HUDs, giving greater visibility as well as manufacturer base visual overhaul interesting so we're gonna have different mft designs new look a refreshed the mfds we had we've had for a long time so i'm really excited to see how they're gonna look and and it looks like we may also see different looks depending on the manufacturer as well so it would be cool to see so it says kzar grazer so what is this so it says these large worm warm blooded herd animals 
were originally discovered on vast plains of Khazar on Terra, most notable for their unusual method of carrying their eggs on their underside. The Khazar grazer has become one of the standard seed animals and their can be commonly found on most terraformed planets in the UEE. So another creature is being added. This I knew, I knew every major patch, they're going to be adding new creatures. So that's going to be exciting. All right, so next it says additional player customization. So following the release of the new custom character customizer in Alpha 3.23, this update adds additional hairs, facial hair options, as well as facial um face piercings interesting rsi zeus mark 2 es it says building balancing and implementing rsi smallest multi-crew ship the r the zeus mark 2 es into the game so it looks like the um we knew that uh, the rsi zeus was getting close to be complete but it looks like they plan to drop it with 4.0 i was hoping it would be for three point um 23's uh, Invictus Week uh, event, but it looks like it's going to be for 4.0. And it says here, the following cards have been added to the release view. Um, release in 3.23 says to Mariah Pulse, uh, Pulse Alex as well, which we we'll know about. Um, and for Gold Standard for 3.23, it's going to be a, the Retaliator has been put in Gold Standard with its modularity as well. And uh, vehicle modularity it says here implementing ability to swap module sections in certain vehicles to change it, their functionality. The initial release contains torpedoes and cargo room mo modules for the Argo, uh, the Aegis Retaliator, uh, with additional modules and vehicles to be added in the future. So I'm interested to see what other vehicles. I think the next one I can think of is going to be the RSI. Um, galaxy but i don't think that's even ready um, but we'll have to see okay so let's go on into the release view itself we have a new branch let me just close this because i don't want to see that again i want to see 4.0 that's all i care about now right so they got i think it's really small for you guys isn't it so let me make it a little bit bigger for you guys all right they got uh, the character customizer for 4.0 all right all the different pyro um locations all right jump points all right i'll post all right pyro space stations more of the moons and planets all right let me close that uh okay so this is what the kzar grazer looks like okay so this is the one that we've seen this is the one we've seen in the uh uh, during last uh, the year end events of last year, we seen this, this is like the cow creature. Um, so it'll be interesting to see it finally in the game. Um, all right. So next, let's see gameplay. All right. So fire hazards is going to be in. Engineering is going to be in. Life support is going to be in. Solo burst is going to be there for gameplay. And I I, can, I feel like they're going to be adding way more. Uh, gameplay content but this is just the initial um this is what they're uh i guess committing to right now but i think we'll see more gameplay uh additions uh, as we get closer okay so ships and vehicles are size zeus and mfds and new displays i'm excited for that all right um weapons multi-tool updates which we spoke about charge and drain nice fire extinguishers nice it's gonna go well with engineering gameplay right there and uh, the transit system refactor mission system refactor and server meshing version one is going to be the pinnacle it's going to be the critical piece for everything here to work all right so um yeah, you guys let me know your thoughts. Are you guys excited? This is one of the biggest releases uh, for Star Citizen. 3.23 was the biggest thus far, but 4.0 is going to be the, the next big thing. All right. So you guys let me know your thoughts. What are you guys most excited for in the comments down below? And don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.